Here's my uh, 1922 Baldwin uh, Model H Grand Piano. Um, <clears throat> I got this piano off of Craigslist for free. Uh, the person that owned it was actually a piano mover for a local piano company that had closed, and this was one of their pianos that they had to move that was a trade-in. And the store didn't need the piano because they were closing and the piano mover didn't need the piano because he wasn't really a piano player so this was in his garage in winter at about negative 30 degrees outside for about a month and he had it listed on Craigslist for free and went over and saw it and realized it was in remarkable shape for its age um, it's all original all original ivory keys in almost excellent condition these few down here have a chip in them, and so does this one right here, and a few other imperfections, but there's no staining in them or anything. They look really nice. The case is in really good condition, except it's alligator, but for being as old as it is, there's no real scratches on it. There's some, something got spilled here. Or we can't. We were never really able to figure out what that was. But the rest of the cabinet is really, really nice. I kind of shined up the brass parts on it a little bit, but uh, I was pretty thrilled to get this for free. There's a crack in the pin block, so a few of the notes will not stay in tune unfortunately actually let me slide this off here so you can see the inside of the piano I'm going to put this phone down for a second so I can fix this alright I'm going to put the top off um, the crack in the pin block is somewhere down here because a few of the notes will not go in tune. But that's really the only part of the piano that is affected by it. Unfortunately, it is there, but the rest of the piano was is just unbelievable. I haven't had this tune since I've had it. I got it last year in February, or at the beginning of this year in February, I believe. And uh, like I said, it came from a garage, unheated. It was negative 30 outside, and it sat in there for about a month. So this is how it sounded then. It's in quite good tuning up there. Uh, it's a little dirty inside. The plate needs to be cleaned up. And something in there. Um, and the strings are all original. And as you can see, they are in excellent condition. The hammers are in unbelievable condition. This thing was just not played. And there, there's a little grooving in some of them. But consider this was from 1922. I mean, there's there's nothing like it that I've seen that that old. I tried to clean up the soundboard, but as you can see, it's really dusty. <laughs> we opened it up. <coughs> Not very good lighting in here, but it gives you an idea. Most strings that I've seen on pianos this old are corroded and discolored and just bad looking, but these ones are really, really nice. Uh, for my senior project at school, at, at our school, we're required to do a project before we can graduate. 
I'm planning on doing some sort of restoration work on this, possibly um, refinishing the cabinet. Just here, here's what the original looks like. It's a um, a real deep brown. There you can see, kind of unaffected from the lid being open all the time. That's one of the reasons why the keys look so nice is they didn't keep the key cover covered. Most pianos people thought, oh, you keep the covered so they don't turn yellow. Well, actually, that's what made them yellow was keeping them covered. They need uh, air circulation. But uh, this is a really nice piano. I really like the sound of it. It's a five foot eight model. Uh, the model that's currently made is the model R, I believe it is. It's a step up from the M and one below the L. But uh, it's the same piano. It's just they changed the models. Um, I suppose I can play a little bit for you. Let's set the camera up. I'd say <laughs> just needs a little cleaning up and the pin block fixed, but I mean that's that's when it gets an entire restoration, which probably won't be for quite a long time, if ever, with this piano. Um, I plan on keeping this piano for as long as I can, along with my other Storian Clark, because you know they're very nice instruments, um, and I, I love them both, and I never give them up for anything. I mean, this This is the only piano that I'd really ever let go, I think, for something larger, maybe Baldwin L. Um, but I'd probably only ever sell it for a Baldwin, another larger Baldwin. <laughs> 